Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, this is Jin. We are back with some Jin talks, you know, the drill. And the quickly god just give us a Luigi. And I don't know you, but Luigi is a character I never actually had fun fighting. But you know what is even even worse than fighting Luigi? It's losing to Luigi. So that's wh what we're going to learn today. How to not lose to Luigi. And uh, so far we are doing pretty bad. I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. You have to be careful. Okay, take chase. Alright, but take chase. For me, I was trying for to go for. Uh, that's like super unsafe. I was uh, on the take chase. I was trying to to go for. Um, For the um, back air, oh, it's definitely dead. Luigi, I don't know if you ever tried Luigi as a character, but coming with Jig coming from Jigglypuff, I wanted to try. It. I wanted to try, it. and Luigi goes nowhere in the air. He has like no no aerial no aerial uh, mobility. It's actually very bad. It's actually very bad. I'm like. Okay, so if you hit this, this character off stage, you'll just die. He's choosing to get up attack every time. That's something you, you definitely want to uh, take note of. Oof, that was a terrible DI. Um, so yeah, we, we haven't seen some really specific stuff against Luigi, but there's like a crucial info that you should remember. Luigi, air mobility, bad. Very bad. So, alright, he left. <laughs> so against Luigi, you just, uh, you just pressure him off stage, and you don't don't necessarily want to like overcommit in your edge grab, but just push, push him off stage, go back on the safe uh, position, and alright, he's coming back, you ledge trap, and you just be careful about stuff like anti airs, and you should be fine. And we are going to fight uh, Simon. Simon is a character that. The normal, the normal Twitter Twitter smasher would say, yeah, it destroys the group, right? Nope, it doesn't. Simon actually has the, the same kind of issue as Luigi, but it's even worse. His air mobility is terrible, and I mean, his archetype is Zoner, right? So I'm glad that Zoners have bad air mobility. But the thing is, a Belmont offstage is a dead Belmont. And we have the perfect character for that. Oh, okay, I shocked this edge guard. Just, that's alright. Weird interaction. Alright. Nice protection from the ledge from him. Yeah. Just be there and throw throw an air box, but put some pressure that cannot be understated, you know. Pressuring is not always about hitting your opponent. Alright, I tried. Do it for the boys, you know it. Alright, and I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die on that uh, very, very bad edge guard, I would say. That's alright. Yeah, he doesn't want it. That's a good point because I was going for a rest there. But that's alright. I hope 
uh, our boy Simon will replay because this matchup is so interesting because so much things that the people think normal average smasher thinks they're wrong they are wrong and this matchup is very good to, sh to show that mobility is better than projectile in this matchup like Simon may have uh, three projectile uh, side B, neutral B, down B but they are pretty linear and I don't know Jigglypuff can trade can trade with them that should have been a, a jab block but choose not to you can trade with, with the axe uh, on the right yeah yeah, of course he would roll in. Who would want to be on the corner at this point? And important, SDI up uh, when you are... SDI and match jump when you are in the holy water can help. There you are. So what I was trying to say earlier is that uh, the projectile are not the big thing in this matchup. The um, his whip is his whip is actually very strong against Jigglypuff because that that like that simple thing he did. I don't think he actually recognized that that's his way of winning the matchup. Alright, training. But yeah, oh no. So yeah, if he does like just short jump and uh, short jump into F tilt with his whip, it's really hard for a puff player to just just approach, you know? Because, yeah, exactly that, exactly that. Put the uh, put the pressure on. That that's what they want they want to do. And he, if you are, if you have to fight like a, a Belmont that will do that, one thing you, you should learn, my fellow Puff comrade, you have to convert your edge guard. You have to convert your edge guard because basically in this matchup, one opening can lead to death. I would say in general, three three neutral opening per stock is is a fair. That, that, that's a fair number. That's a fair number. You have to really cap capitalize on uh, your opponent's mistake, especially if they double jump in front of you. You have to punish that hard, you know. And that's that's the way you will win the, the matchup. Don't hesitate to just jump over the projectile. Use your air mobility. It's far superior to uh, what they can do with their zoning game. And you'll be alright. You'll be alright. Anyways, this video is now over, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you will remember to subscribe to the crispiest Jigglypuff channel on YouTube. Uh, we have been growing, uh, growing to the almost 1k subscribers now, almost 1k, that's, that's gonna be great. So yeah, don't hesitate and I'll see you next time.